The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. And just telling your story so that it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible. Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show at this time every week to help you with a tip to help you tell your story. Welcome back, Jerry Brown. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. All right. So what's our uh, storytelling tip this week? Today's tip is to be a generous tipper. Oh, yeah. Today, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I tend to go into some of the same restaurants and places like that, get my hair cut the same places. And I have a, a reputation for being a pretty good tipper because I think those folks deserve and you know, they work hard for their money. And you I bet they, they do. Deserve. And so as a result, you know, they know they know me. They give me really good service because of that. Well, right. you know, it kind of works the same way when you're telling your story. People love tips about things that they want to either be able to do at all or be able to do. Look what he just did. I know. I just he, made he that He just connection. used one of those uh, verbal uh, imagery things. I like it. So, All right. So be a generous tipper. Absolutely. Offer tips to your audience. Absolutely. First of all, it's a it's your audience. If, if it's something they're interested in, they will find them useful. And so they will be interested. And they may even if it's something that's interesting enough for the thing, what they may even keep they may even keep what you wrote around if it's in written form, either online or, you know, in paper or whatever. And so it's, they're very useful. And, and the other thing is that it does is it helps establish or build your expertise. Because I mean, now if you're just giving tips that you, you're just making them up and you don't really know what you're talking about, not so <laughs> yeah, much. Don't do that. That doesn't work so well. But right. if you really are an expert at what you do and you can offer useful information to the rest of us about things we either want to learn how to do or we want to learn how to do better, then it's, it's very helpful. Now, you could say, well, gee, but if I give people all these tips they're going to go do it themselves instead of hiring me and you know there may be a little bit of that but you know what uh, yeah your insecurities are getting the better of you well not really there, there may be a little bit of that but you know yeah your insecurities are getting the better of you and the reality is that you know what you give away comes back to you Absolutely. in many ways anyway plus you know even if I know how to do now what you do, I may not want to do it because I've got other th you know, I want to do the things that bring money in my door. And the chances are that the, doing what you do doesn't do that. You know, I remember, Jerry, I, I would, you know, I probably still do this. I'll tear an article out of a magazine. I would clip a, a tip, you know, out of the newspaper yeah, and we would save it and hold on to it, which means if you're doing that with your stories, you're doing that with your website, that people are probably bookmarking it bookmarking those websites and sending other people to to maybe your Facebook page and things like that, right? Absolutely. And, you know, it used to be when newspapers were bigger and they had more writers on their staffs that I could, on any given day, pick up any newspaper anywhere and count on being able to find at least one how-to or one story with some tips in it. Now, right. that's not as true anymore only because they've gotten smaller and don't have as many writers, but you can go online and do it, and you certainly will find plenty of them. And now, I'm not talking about that you need to write your tips for the news uh, media, but my point is the news media love these kind of stories because they know that their audience loves sure. these kind of stories. And they love them because, so they know it's got good readership or viewership uh, material. And it's the same for you. I would take their lead and follow their example. You know, I, I have seen stories about how to avoid being walked by a hotel to another hotel if you get in late. I've seen things about how to walk through an airport without getting ripped off because there apparently were a lot of thieves in airports. Really? Uh, at one time, yeah, exactly. How, uh, how to play? Yeah, how to play, you know, how to conduct business on the golf course, how to buy tennis shoes or running shoes. I, I mean, like the I, top five. Is that, you know, top oh, five, yeah, top absolutely. ten lists? Absolutely. The exact, yeah. is exactly the same All thing. All right. All right. This week's tip from Jerry Brown is be a generous tipper. For an article about today's storytelling tip that you heard here on the Experience Pros Radio Show, go to Jerry's blog at jerrybrownpr.com. You'll also find an archive of the storytelling tips that Jerry shares on his website, jerrybrownpr.com.
The late journalist, screenwriter, and Denver native Gene Fowler said, Writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR to help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. Plus, he can help you edit what you've already written. Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. Once again, you can reach Jerry at jerry at jerrybrownpr.com or pick up the phone and call him, 303 594 8016. That's 303 594 8016.